Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be touching up on a subject that you guys have been asking for quite a lot. Now if you take a quick look at the weapon, when I start moving backwards, left, forwards, right etc, you can see the weapon jumps about a little bit, it's quite jerky and it's not that smooth. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's video is how to fix this and how to make it smoother using layered animations so to put it sort of in a way that you guys can understand exactly what we're going to be doing is i'm going to be taking my character i'm going to open this up and let me show you and what i'm going to be doing is essentially having the top half of it play the idle animation and the bottom half is going to be playing the walk run because as you notice at the moment as it moves between the animation for walk left right etc the hands are all moving around now this isn't an issue with the code rather the animations what we're doing in today's video is essentially just a fix for that so instead we're going to be playing the an idle animation on the top half so we know it's not going to be teleporting the rifle round and that way we know 100% it's going to be nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can do it. It's really quick and really simple. Within your third person BP, blueprints and character folder, you want to open up your animation blueprint for your SWAT character. Once you've done this, go into your main event, uh, your main state machine which is over here, walk run, and then within this, you want to find your walk run state. Open this up, and at the moment, you can see we have only just got our blend space, and that is it. There is nothing wrong with our blend space. What we're going to be doing is, like I said, merging the two animations. So first things first, I want to find my idle aiming animation, and I'm going to drag this in here. And then now we need to find a way to merge these two because you can't hook up more than one animation. So the way we're going to be doing this is using a node called layered blend per bone. So if I hook this up to my final animation pose, I can now hook up two animations to it. Now, our first and our base pose for this, the most important one, is our walk run blend space. So you want to hook this up to your base pose. Then the second one is your idle and just hook this up to your blend pose zero. Now bear in mind if you wanted to, you could add some extra pins in here if you want to and merge more than two animations. But realistically you're not going to be doing this and for this simple fix we're doing, we just need the two animations. So the next step is defining the upper and the lower body because this does not know how to separate the upper and the lower part of your skeleton. So what I want you to do is go over to your skeletal mesh in the top corner here or if that doesn't and you can see you get this window open. Go to the skeletal view and then within this we need to find a bone that we can use to differentiate between the top and the bottom half. Now the one that I'm going to use is the spine 2. So this spine 2, anything beneath it, I'm going to tell it to play the walk run blend space. Anything above it, I'm going to tell it to play the idle animation. So let's go ahead and show you how you can use it. One thing I do want you to note is that you need to have the spelling for your bone name 100% perfect, completely correct, and it's also case sensitive. So the name for it is Spine2 with a capital S, no spaces or anything like that, just keep that in mind. Once you've got that, just close this up, open this up, and then within your details panel with the layered blend per bone selected, open up your layer setup, open up your members, and then with the branch filters, add an element into there, and then for the bone name, just set this to Spine2, and make sure you set your blend depth to 1. And this now then is going to proceed to blend those two animations together. And if we compile this and close all of this other stuff, oops, don't close the engine, um, and close this stuff and press play, you are going to see when I move around now, it's a lot more smooth. It's not going to be teleporting the rifle anywhere. It's not going to be blending between the left, the right. It's simply just the idle on the top half. And if you look down, it's still going to play the walk run blend space, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. 
Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.